Right, I mean, circumcision is um, done for various reasons. Um, it can be religious reasons, and of course, uh, in adults, particularly, uh, sometimes they have a condition known as phimosis. So phimosis is where you have a very tight foreskin and you can't retract it um, below the, uh, the head of the penis. Now, if that happens, uh, it can lead to a lot of problems, like you can have pain during sexual intercourse, uh, it, can, it can result in uh, injury to the foreskin uh, during uh, uh, sexual intercourse, or you can even have infection that involves the head of the penis or even the foreskin. We call that balanopostitis. So uh, these are debilitating uh, conditions and therefore uh, some of the patients who have this problem, uh, they elect to have circumcision done. Um, sometimes circumcision is done uh, just for hygiene purposes. Uh, this is also a request that we often uh, get from patients. So one of the things that we do during counselling uh, in, in this uh, uh, situation where you know someone comes to me and wants to do a circumcision for hygiene purposes uh, rather than for a medically indicated condition, uh, one of the things I do tell them is that they have to be aware that there may be some reduction in uh, the sensitivity of the head of the uh, penis after circumcision. So there may be a slight decrease in uh, the pleasure um, that they, they may attain from uh, sexual intercourse. Because uh, in sexual intercourse, uh, the sensitivity of the head of the penis uh, is important uh, for orgasm and for giving someone the pleasure of sex. Uh, and when you do a circumcision, uh, you, you will have some changes to the head of the penis uh, where you may uh, lose a little bit of that um, uh, sensitivity on the head. Uh, this may or may not be noticeable to individual patients. Um, and uh, sometimes, you know, uh, if you look at literature, the foreskin itself is considered as a sexual organ. Uh, so by losing the foreskin, you may lose part of that sexual organ. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why uh, uh, there are uh, certain groups that do not really advocate uh, circumcision. Uh, so this is an individual uh, choice. Um, so something that we often counsel uh, people with, um, but basically uh, in, in many of the patients whom I've done circumcision, I mean, they do not really come back to me and, and complain that they have any change in, in their sensation during sexual activity. So it's, it's um, it's more of an, uh, from person to person in terms of how they may relate to it. Um, so I don't think there's any strong or hard evidence that it will impair your sexual ability or uh, decrease your sexual pleasure, but uh, it's something that uh, uh, is something that's discussed with patients prior to doing circumcision.